finally the grand closing ceremony of the 18th International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics hosted by India in Mumbai showcased some remarkable performances with approximately 50 countries winning medals and talking about India's performance on the motherland was remarkable with four golds and one silver so come let's take you in direct interaction with Dr. Ajit Kumar Mohanty, Secretary to the Government of India, Department of Atomic Energy. Along with Team India, Slovakia, Thailand and Singapore. First of all, many congratulations to you that India hosting this as International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics. It's a big moment for India and especially when we see four golds and one silver. And of course, uh, Department of Atomic Energy is a funding authority. How do you see? I'm very happy. Because out of our quota of five, we got four golds and one silver. In fact, for last many years, we are getting silver onwards. We don't get a bronze. So we have qualified ourselves. And I'm very happy sponsoring this event, which is one of the largest of this category till now, 18th one. And uh, we did it and uh, we are all very excited doing so. Uh, of course, quoting the Honourable Prime Minister's word and from your side I, uh, during your address that uh, uh, the sky is no limit for the kids. So uh, please uh, throw a light on that. No, I was repeating what Honourable Prime Minister said in the opening days that while addressing the students, they said these are the shining stars of the planets. And for them, sky is not the limit, sky is only the beginning. And he was also citing the example of Aryabhata, who discovered zero. And I was trying to correlate zero is such a number that if you use properly, it can make big small and it can make small big. I mean to say, if you multiply zero with a big number, it will become zero also. And if you divide by zero, it will become infinity. So basically, the space is from zero to infinity. And that is the limit for the kids. They, they have the brains, they have the knowledge. With these wings, they can fly as much as possible and infinity is the limit, not the sky. Sir, um, uh, we have witnessed that uh, the countries which have, are facing some sort of a conflicts in their uh, own spheres are, have also participated, especially the event hosted this time by India. So how do you feel that, of course, there is a, a good relation which uh, you know um, carries on further with the world? See, if you recall, science is something there is no boundary, there is no conflict. You can see the many countries participated, which otherwise they could not have come, but to participate this Olympia, India in, happily invited them, gave them the visa. So, true, science is truly boundless. And in these kids, I don't see any politics is there or any international conflict is there. We only see who, we only worship the best. Especially with the transitions, scientific transition we have seen in, in the re recent past with Chandrayaan 3, Aditya L1, of course, uh, uh, now the Gaganyaan is also ready. So, any, any thoughts on that? No, no, it is a wonderful thing. We are now exploring the space with our technology. And uh, in fact, with the space technology, there are another things uh, probably many, not many people know. We will be powering this our satellite with the nuclear, from that, taking the energy from the nuclear, so that instead of... Uh, burning other things nuclear can be used in the sat satellite technology in fact we have uh, what people are talking about nuclear batteries we can use certain types of radioisotope which heat can be converted to the electricity and these are the going to be used in the space technology in future because in the space you don't get uh, other than solar uh, fueled uh, batteries or whatever you don't have any other source of energy but then it has its own limitation when sun is not there you don't have the energy but if you put the nuclear this batteries probably you will get the energy forever and you can do many things so this is the another direction of the science in addition to the space probably atomic energy will be supplying it in addition to solving the energy problem in india in a clean way and uh, in it it is a pathway also adding a pathway towards vixit bar it is a pathway and it is a breakthrough going towards vixit bar exploring the energy of atom not only in the power sector but in all sectors including health, agriculture, water, everything. Hi, today again we have got Arush with us uh, who has showcased uh, some winning of gold medals for India first in the junior level of astronomy and astrophysics and now again at the um, international level for astronomy and astrophysics um, at the senior level uh, winning gold for India and Arush oh, in India we are talking about India so winning a gold 
Uh, so uh, tell us uh, your experience and your ex excitement today. So it was a really great experience and uh, it was a unique one because the International Olympiads are held in different countries every year and uh, fortunately it was in India this year and we got an opportunity to host many different countries, uh, around 64 countries from around the world and uh, yeah it was a great experience, we had a lot of fun and we learned a lot of things from people from other countries. So talking about of course the solving the problems, it was for astronomy and astrophysics. Tell us how the rigorous the problem problems were and how the, uh, the uh, solving the equations were and what exactly the questions were. Okay, so uh, the IOA is composed of mainly three parts, the uh, theoretical data analysis and the observation part and uh, each part carries different weightage in the final score. And this year the theoretical exam was uh, extremely hard, it was much harder than all previous IOAs and even the data analysis exam. And uh, the observation part included uh, different parts such as the planetarium round, the sky map round and uh, the telescope round. So we had different types of problems in each round and we had to complete them to, you know, uh, get some in. Okay, last words of course, winning a gold in your motherland. How does it feel? It's, uh, it's a great feeling and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm surrounded by uh, Indians so they give me a lot of love and uh, I'm really proud to win a gold medal for India in India itself. So many congratulations to you winning gold for your country, you uh, starting with your name and the country you're representing and how do you feel today winning the, this gold, especially the uh, event hosted by India this time? So, uh, hi my name is Chayapal Nantasut from Thailand and yeah I feel really good for being here and I didn't expect to get gold because uh, when I calculated my score with my friends I got pretty bad so yeah, I was pretty surprised that I got a gold, but yeah, I feel really good and really relieved that this is uh, that this competition is ending. But also, I'm gonna miss my friends here. I love the organization here. Uh, the food was uh, I actually underestimated Indian food. It was much better than I thought it would be, and the hotel was good. I, yeah, I love India. So, uh, do you like India as a host uh, overall experience? Well, yes, I like India as a host because I participated in the past IOAs and this is the best one for me. I think uh, the organization is good, the timing is pretty good, I think. Yeah, everything is good. Of course, uh, many congratulations to you winning gold for your country, which is Singapore, standing at this international event, which is set to be on astronomy and astrophysics. How do you feel? Uh, I definitely did not expect like, a gold medal. Like, um, it's my first year in this competition, so it definitely I, I expected like maybe I'll win like an award perhaps, but gold medal definitely not expected. Like after the paper, especially the theory paper, I messed up like most of my questions. I couldn't even finish the paper, so I did not think I was gonna get like, a pretty good result. But it turns out that um, this year's IOA seems to be like really really tricky. Like everyone I know struggled a lot, but in the end. The, a lot of people that I knew got the results they wanted, so I'm really happy for them. And of course, uh, myself, I, I see winning this gold medal as an opportunity to not only further my abilities in astronomy in the future, but also I'm willing to try like other things besides astronomy Olympiads, like perhaps astronomy, re astronomy research and um, maybe hosting competitions related to astronomy in my home country. And um, as for the organization, and stuff. I would like to thank all the student guides and our team leaders for helping moderate and bringing us to the different places because like the opening ceremony and closing ceremony in particular they were like really fire, I really loved it. So yeah. Um, okay, first of all many congratulations to you winning gold for your country Slo Slovakia and how do you feel and how was your experience? My experience was really incredible. Uh, I feel very happy. I didn't expect to win the gold medal at all. Uh, it's been such a nice experience here. Uh, I made many new friends and I enjoyed uh, getting to know the culture of India. Oh, so how was India as a host for you? Uh, India was a very good host. Uh, as I said, I enjoyed uh, exploring this country as a whole. Uh, but uh, the Olympiad was also organized very nicely and precisely, so that was also uh, very good. Great, now we'll move towards the silver medalist. How was your experience and of course, how do you feel? My experience was uh, also wonderful. The organization this year was phenomenal. 
basically there were, there were not any problems with the organization except for few small delays and I am really happy that I got the silver medal since I thought that it would probably be bronze due to today, due to these years, uh, really difficult problems in theory. That means we can say it was highly competitive as it is said to be. Yes, it's a highly competitive competition.